I think it was a pretty good cutoff point for that part episode. How do you lose Ridley? No, really, how do you lose Ridley? How do you do that? Atmospheric re-entry must be rough for Samus, I gotta say. But, oh yeah, so a lot of people will pronounce her name Samus Aaron, but uh, I, pr I say her name is Samus because, well, I play the fuck out of Super Smash Bros. Melee, and whenever you select her, that was how she was pronounced, so I just go with that. Eh, there's that. Oh, yes, I do play a lot of Super Smash Bros. Melee. It's a fun game. It's such a really good game, too. Hmm. That half an hour swig of, of Coke. Always fun. I'm more of a Pepsi guy, but I'll take what I can get. So, Talon Overworld. So, we went from a completely linear corridor of a level to all of a sudden things just opened way the fuck up. And things are beautiful. 2002. I want to drive that point home, folks. 2002. This game is mm, gorgeous. So, we just went from that linear corridor to this. Now you are free to do basically whatever you want. No, I'm not kidding. You can basically do that. Well, I mean, you still have objectives to go and complete, like, power-ups to go get. But, I have a thing to do first. So, there is a door back there that happens to have the, uh, a double jump. Space jump, as it's so called. I have never once at actually successfully pulled off getting double jump at the beginning of the game because there's a way to do that. So I will attempt it. By God, I will attempt it. So you have to excuse me for a sec. I'm go so if I remember correctly, the idea is to stand on the back of these thrusters, lock onto something. What do I lock onto? I don't know. Ah, crap. Hmm. It's something over there. What the hell was it? I don't know. Mmm, this could be rough. So, uh, yeah, there's something you lock onto over there, and you use, like, this weird thrust that the, um, spaceship gives you. I really want to pull this off, because it'd be really cool. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to take about five minutes to attempt this, and if I can't pull it off, then I'll just move through the game. I don't, I could beat it either way, but I just think it'd be really cool to pull it off. So, I'll be back in a quick sec, guys. Oh, shit. Alright, so I think I just got it. What I was doing is I was trying to lock onto something, but I shouldn't be doing that. I should be using the scan visor. That's what I was getting wrong. So the idea is get to the back of the ship as close as you can. The uh, ledge you're going for is like right there, I think. Yes. And there is some exploit where you can... I'm totally trying to pull this off right, by the way. I've, again, I've never pulled this off. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get about like for five minutes and then I'm just gonna move on. If I can't pull it off, well, that sucks. Eh. <laughs> Alright, I give up. Uh, if I had more time to practice that beforehand, I'd probably be able to pull it off, but honestly, that's just not working. So, anyway, uh, something that is pretty cool about this game is that it's not gonna completely be in the dark, so if you're really lost and you can't find out where to go, uh, occasionally this um, Z icon will appear on the screen and it'll be like, hey, is you go here because it might take it to the next location and, and yeah so that's really nice uh although truthfully i really don't need that on i mean i could no, i'll just leave it on posterity's sake why the hell not just because the next ever going to is chosen ruins and that could be kind of rough so uh where to go first actually there are a couple of options admittedly um actually i'm pretty sure i know where to go first this is actually to be pretty instrumental in actually completing a game by the way, in case no one knew, I'm pretty hardcore dyslexic, and I will often be pretty redundant when I'm saying words, because thinking about game, can't focus, ah. Alright. So there's these things. This is not the way you're technically supposed to be going. I'm just going this way so I can show stuff off. You don't need to worry about it too much. Uh, if you have a charge beam, I'm pretty sure I mentioned that in the quote-unquote tutorial level. Um, so there's this area, Impact Crater, might be important later, and it might be the reason it's called the Impact Crater. Uh, well, I'm leaving you guys on a cliffhanger, but it's like, just told right over here what the hell's going on. Pirate lore, awesome. Uh, if you'll see me record that, <laughs> all of you guys are aliens, what the hell are you talking about? Uh, so I showed this structure projects a containment field. 
So this entire thing is basically a containment field about hovering above what's down below there in the crater. Mm hmm Yeah. So here's the game plan. This giant thing is okay, I'm going in there, yeah. What the hell? Can I skin that? Yes. Research later. Oh, oh I was thinking you could totally skip on that. Shit, I didn't realize that. Missile doors. Oh boy. But yeah, uh Everything can be scanned, I swear to god. Again, if you want to know lore about enemies, their bio biology, or their weaknesses overall, definitely scanning them is a grit. Scanning is like fundamental to this game, I swear to god. Anyway, so yeah, that is the impact clear. What you saw helping above it was a giant containment field uh, sheltering what is inside there so it doesn't spread outwards. And of course, the, the jack hole space pirates are like, hey! We want to get out of the action, so let's disable the field. And yeah, that's uh, not going too well. Yeah, I swear you can squeeze. Those you don't want to shoot too close because they explode. Oh wait, oh, crap! I can get the next one. That was something you could scan. Something you could scan. Something you could scan. That's a creature. That's also a creature. I should probably just say it right now. I don't actually intend to complete this game 100%. I mean, I can get like to 90. Oh, that takes, that's some takes a missile. I could get to 90%, but I can't actually get 100% because I've never completed it that far before. I don't know if I'm missing scans or if I'm missing items. I know I'm not missing health tanks. I, I can get all the health tanks pretty easily. Maybe one day I'll actually get around to 100% in this game, but the incentive is taken away when you know exactly what the hell the end of the game is. By the way, if you want easy way easy way around this, boom. <laughs> uh, then never gets boring. Didn't I just spawn a red one? Eh, I'll take it. Why the hell not? Ah, oh, I'm going the wrong way again. Okay. Oh, all right, all right. I'm sticking around. I'm going. Keep going. God damn it. Bob trying to show off and everything. So, where are we going? That way? Oh, I didn't even know we go that way. I thought that was something else. Hmm. These things are a bit of a pain in the ass. Well, they'll be very prominent enemies later on. That's for sure. Well, at least just for the chosen ruins there. After the Chozo Ruins are really scarce, actually. <laughs> Boom. Also, the Exploding Gel Sacks are not going to be back later on. Right? I don't think they are. No. Anyway. <laughs> you know, with how quickly I dispatched of the uh, Paras, like, when you'd think I could totally um, play this game on hard mode. Maybe in a separate file. I, I don't feel like quite doing that for a main run. Way too much trial and error. If I was more just enough with this game's mechanics, I totally would, but I'm actually doing this kind of blind. Well, not really blind. I know where basically everything is, but it's been a good while since I actually did a full playthrough of this game. It was because my last page channel occupies so much of my other time. Anyway. So, Chozo Ruins. <laughs> oh, this place. This fucking place it is like a giant maze. I mean, I like it. I, and the atmosphere is great here. Like, it really gives across that whole vibe of this place got fucked over by a lot of things. It got cucked so hard. So. By the way, basically, I should use the power beam because I haven't made this perfectly clear. Yeah, just. It's more. Its strength is more determined by how fast you can press the button. It's very simple like that. You know, there's no, there's no real strategy. It's just press button fast. Kill enemy, repeat. Not like the other elemental weapons you'll get later in the game, but yeah. Uh, let's see if I can remember this hand. First place you want to go, I believe. <laughs> These things are fun. Scarabs, they explode when you get near them. Uh, literally just shoot them. <laughs> Very frequently, I'll just like walk right through them and see how much damage it actually does. What's this thing? Oh yeah. Uh, it shoots lasers when you get near it. So, literally just, like, shooting it with the power beam doesn't, like, immediately kill it, but it'll disable long enough to walk past it. Anyway. So, I don't really give too much of a shit about the pirate uh, lore in this game. <clears throat> Frankly, it's pretty, um, pretty obvious. Pirates want things. They find what phase on is. They, do, you, they start experimenting with it. Things go awry. I think that's kind of self-explanatory. If you know anything about Metro games. Metros are not fun. 
Also, I don't know if I made it well, clear or not, but Metroid brings, takes a lot of inspiration from the Alien movies. F very much so. Anyway, chose a lore. This is where the important stuff is. <laughs> oh, they actually did leave Talon 4. I forgot that part. <laughs> this place was a refuge of our spirits. Well, it kind of still is. God, it's like fucking poetry, Jesus. Mm hmm. Yeah, this is really the important stuff because the Chosen Lore is directly tied to the impact crater and what's underneath that. Yeah, the illusion. This one's really cryptic, though. It doesn't really explain too much. It just says, um, if I remember this, I remember this correctly offhand, um, this place is fucked. We're leaving it. It's been nice knowing it. So long and thanks for all the fish. More or less. By the way, there's bees here. Or, correction, wasps. Also, dicks. They're a little harder to, t to kill because they're a little nimble, but um, if you just use the lock, lock on by holding L, you're basically fine. Locking on, by the way, is done by pressing the L button in case I haven't made that button a little clear. Then again, oh, what am I talking about? Start a game, did it. Never mind. Mm hmm. Expect the word poison and toxicity to come up a lot in this game. Because it's kind of the running theme. Sort of, kind of. Yeah, you, you don't need to carry. The save station is right over here. <laughs> so, no worries about ever getting lost, really. This game is very generous with the save points, though. Or at least in, the, like, the first half. Second half, they can be a tad scarce, especially when you get to, like, the pirate bases. But for the most part, it's pretty okay. Also, I just love this. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just the simple things in life I enjoy. Not moving whatsoever when you jump. I love that so much. Anyway, moving on. Oh, I hear. God. This game really is supremely pretty. And it's not just in the quality of the textures either. Just like, you could... 2002, you have a whole lot of visor effects. You got these lights coming down from the shaft and from the rafters and everything. The different effects you got on your visor. Like... Let me see if I can do this correctly. Oh no, you can't do it with a charge beam. Like, if you if a blast goes off too close to your visor, your eyes will actually appear in your visor and reflect off of it. It's really cool. Again, this game highly separates itself from other uh, first-person shooter games. It's Again, it's not even first-person shooter. It's just an adventure game in first-person, which theoretically only adds to it, and the story is so good. You're just like, it's, it's great. Also, these things. I'm just getting as much lore as I possibly can. Um, you can kill them. I mean, they're producing light, but the thing is, this place doesn't really get dark enough that you have to care. I mean, you don't want to capture right now. It's, my window's a little darker than usual, but it's still fine. Oh, and something cool. So, all the water in this level is toxic. That's not the cool part. But, um, the little gauge there on the left side there actually determines how close you are from a dangerous spot that can do damage. Like, ow. So that's cool. <laughs> that's actually a really cool feature. I, uh, it's been forever since I played Prime Two. I don't know if it comes back there, but I'm relatively sure it's gone. Gone in Prime Three. It's a shame, but eh, what can you do? Play Prime One again. That's what you can do. So, hey, look. What what is that over there? I, I honestly can't say. What is that? <laughs> By using the elevator bridge. I would challenge that, but that's acid water. I'm not gonna test that right now. Cool. Let's see what we got. Ah, oh, balls. Of course it'd be a trap. Why wouldn't it be a trap? Well, fucking Chozo. Then again, the Chozo do have reason to be paranoid because of the phase on affecting everything here. All that would be real in due time. So, booby trap, technically speaking. These are fire hornets? Or something asshole related. Yep. What is it called again? Ram War Wasp. Oh, that's a fun name. So these things can be a little rough. Um, something I like to do actually is just shoot right into um, their line of travel. Wait for them to stop. What you really want to be doing in this fight is um, I don't know so much fights. This like a small ambush. What you really want to be doing is looking at the top left uh, your radar. That's a very good indication of where they're going to be. Instead of you know having to use your eyes and look look, look all the way around you. Also, you can kill a couple of them when they first come out. I so there was like three last time. Ow. Oh no, he got me. 
Oh no. Anyway, where is in front of me? Gotcha. Woo. Next. I think this is the last wave. I'm not sure of that offhand. Yeah. By the way, you don't have to feel bad about using the hell of your L button to get frequent lock-ons. Also, if you fall into the, into the acid, you're pretty much fucked. Yeah. Swear, round and round, the war wasp goes. Word stops. I don't fucking care. That should be it. Cool. Only three stops. Huh. Interesting. You'd think with, you know, four heads, it'd go to full four, but I guess not. Eh. What ups? So, in the meantime... Oh. Missiles. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this literally is, like, your strongest weapon until you get your hands on, like, the super missiles later on. That's gonna be great. Mmm. Missile launcher acquired. Yeah, this is very self-explanatory. It's literally the same shit as before. Although it's something I really, really will give um, Metroid Prime credit for is it's a very exhilarating feeling of um, but it increases your health by 100. Energy tank, very good. Uh, it is a very exhilarating feeling of like starting a game off with all these weapons and losing them, and then you reacquire them through through your playthrough. Eventually, you do get all your shit back, and you're actually more powerful than you were before. I find it to be really, really nice. Um, very cool, I would say. Now. For some reason, um, there are playthroughs of this game that instead of getting 100% runs, it's get as l little items as possible. Believe it or not, there are some items that are required to get in this game. <laughs> and uh, playing through on like a low percent run is a lot more hard, so... There's that, I guess. Oh yeah, if you shoot him once, like, it just starts sputtering. I don't feel bad. Get the damage? I don't feel bad anymore, fuck you. <laughs> That's my mindset. Okay, so down there is actually something you really want. <laughs> like, you really, really, really want. Open you, son of a bitch. Mmm. Okay. You know, I was, funny enough, something just came to mind. I was also con contemplating doing a Let's Play Resident Evil 4 during a few points, since that's also one of my top 10 games ever. Uh, RE4 would be fun, but I really gotta get back into the lore of that series, and Metro Prime, I could just, like, pop in and go. Since it's like something I can just play like second nature. I mean, I say that, but I did, I did be RE4 in highest difficulty. Which is actually very challenging, you wouldn't believe it. Fuck! You. <laughs> the World Hospice are dick bo dicks, by the way. Wait, oh, there's one more. Oh, by the way! War Wasp Hive. Up there? Hang on. Very crucial. Want to sound cool? Boom! You can use missiles to kill the war wasp hives. That is extremely useful. I'm gonna beat ya. Oh yeah, again, cool visor effects. Various attacks will appear on your screen, on your visor. Like, acid. It's very... very there is a lot of wasps in here. I do not appreciate this. Assholes. 